If you're a macOS user that uses Time Machine to backup to a Synology NAS, and you find it challenging to keep your backups consistently running because you're on the road a lot and not always on the same network as your Synology NAS, consider using Tailscale. This is the situation I'm currently in, and I find using Time Machine through Tailscale works well, and I'll go through the steps to set everything up in this video. Note that in this video, I won't be going into the fine details of setting up Time Machine or explain how Tailscale works because I do have videos covering both topics that you see listed here on screen and which I'll link to in the description below. In this video, I'll go through the step-by-step -step setup of configuring both a Synology NAS and a MacBook as Tailscale clients to allow Time Machine backups to securely run no matter where you're at, all coordinated through Tailscale's infrastructure. The first thing I'll do is create a local user that isn't an administrator that we'll use a little later in the video. This is done from DSM under Control Panel, then User and Group. Here I'll select Create User to bring up the User Creation Wizard and enter in a username and password I'd like to use. I'll continue through the wizard taking the default options for most of the setup process except from this Assign Application Permission step where I'll select the Allow box for SMB to make sure the user is specifically allowed SMB access. I'll then continue through the remainder of the wizard to finish setting up the user. Next, I'll create a folder that we'll be using for Time Machine storage. This is done from the Shared Folder control panel where I'll select Create Shared Folder to start up the Shared Folder creation wizard. I'll give the Shared Folder a name. Disable the Recycle Bin, which is the recommended setup for Time Machine. Select the Enable Data Checksum for Advanced Data Integrity checkbox, being that I'm using a BTRFS volume, as well as enable a quota on the shared folder, giving it more than enough space for my MacBook to be backed up completely, then continue on with the wizard. I'll give the user that was just created earlier read-write permissions to the shared folder and click Apply. I also want to confirm that the SMB service is enabled, which it should be by default. This is done under the File Services control panel, and we can see that it is already enabled. Now, let's get to setting up Tailscale. I've already installed Tailscale from the Package Center, so I'll just run the service, then click Open to bring up the Tailscale login window. Here, I'll click Login, then sign in with my Gmail account. Once authorization is successful, I'll close this window and Tailscale should be set up on my Synology NAS. Next, I'll switch over to my MacBook where I've already installed and logged on to Tailscale with the same Gmail account that I used on my Synology NAS. I can also see that my DS220 Plus Synology NAS, which is the one I just set up, shows up as a Tailscale network device. I'll select it to copy the Tailscale assigned IP address to my MacBook's clipboard and click OK on the pop-up window that appears. Now I'll mount the Time Machine shared folder that was created earlier as an SMB share using the Tailscale IP address of my DS220+. I'll do that by bringing up Finder, navigating to the Go menu, then select Connect to Server. Here, I'll enter in the SMB address of my Synology NAS using the Tailscale IP address that I copied to my clipboard and click Connect. I'll then log in with the user that was created earlier and select the Time Machine Shared folder to mount it as an SMB share. At this point, we're ready to set up Time Machine. I'll bring up System Preferences, then select Time Machine. I'll click on Select Backup Disk, and now we see the Time Machine SMB share. I'll select it and click on Use Disk. I'll re-enter in the user account information once again, click Connect, and now Time Machine is all set up and will start backing up my MacBook in a few seconds and will continue to back up my MacBook wherever I'm at through the Tailscale network. Hopefully this video helps you stay up to date with your Time Machine backups no matter where you're at, and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also, if you would like to learn more about either a Time Machine or Tailscale setup through a Synology NAS, check out the videos listed here on screen. 
Lastly, I'd be grateful if you would consider subscribing to this channel and support my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.